Okay, here's the five points. Important point number one, I'm going to use whole body exercise. When you exercise, it's important that you're not doing isolation exercises, but it's important that you're getting your whole body moving, especially if you're wanting to improve stamina, lose some weight, get that whole body going so that you're engaging all the muscles, the smaller muscles, the bigger, the bigger muscles, get them moving. Point number two, speed and explosive movement is extremely important if you're going to get stronger and you're really going to build your stamina. Point number three, do some type of strength training. Personally, what I'm going to do is show you folks some all body exercise, body weight exercise, so that you don't have to have a weight set. You don't have to go to the gym. I like this. I've used it because it's something I can do anywhere. It doesn't matter where I am. One other important point, point number four, there should be little or no rest when you go from one exercise to the other. It's important that you keep that rhythm going. It's important that you keep your heart going. It's important that you keep your breathing rate up. And all of those things will take you to a healthier, stronger you. And finally, the last point is a point about proper breathing. Now, I'm going to demonstrate these exercises that I'm going to show you slowly so we get it right. As I start doing them faster, though, you're going to hear me breathe. And I want you to hear the breathing because if you're breathing effectively throughout your exercise routine, it's amazing how much further, how much faster, how much stronger you can go. So do remember the five points. They're very important. Now, these exercises are something that wrestlers, boxers, martial arts fighters have known about for an awful long time, this type of exercising. There's exercise routines out there now, P90X and Sanity, who are really stressing high energy, little rest, get after it. Now again, granted, if you're first starting this program, you need to take your time. You need to be patient with yourself, but in time, it will certainly come to you. Now, I'm going to slowly demonstrate the exercises to you first, so you can see some of the variations that you might do. Something that, again, can keep you safe can work for your body type. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about sprinting a little bit. Now, because of my artificial hip situation, I want to be careful about the pounding. So what I do is I move my body, I move my arms, and I keep my feet closer to the floor. And then I'm going to increase that speed. So again, I can get that heart going. Now, you can start this out at 10 seconds, 15 seconds, Build it up to 30 seconds to a minute, whatever works for you. Again, at the start, be careful. Now, I'm going to show you some, some boxing technique. The, the technique I'm going to show you, first of all, is a front hand punch called a jab. Now, the power in any sport comes from the turning of the hips. This is the power source right here. We need to get those hips involved. So in exercise, it's real good to just feel the hips is trunk rotation. Now, when you do a trunk rotation, turn your heels up so you can get maximum turn of the body. As you're turning, squeeze your stomach so your belly's tight. As you're turning, make sure you're breathing. So here we are. We're going to work on the front hand. Now, just showing you the technique slowly. Our hands are up in front of us. You don't need to make your fists real tight. Just keep them real relaxed and loose. Our front hand have the left leg forward, the left hand forward, other hand back by the chin. Both hands up high, okay? There's no threat here of you getting hit by anybody, but think about doing the technique right. You want to keep your hands up so as you exercise, the weight of your hands becomes heavy after a while, and it's good to keep them up and get in that practice. If you were boxing, obviously, you want your hands up to be blocking strikes coming in. So from here, the jab goes out. I'm going to stay in a stationary position right now. Right at the end, it turns. It turns. Now, you want to be careful. You don't lock and overextend your elbow. So you're going to take it out, bring it back. Body weight is leaning in, but you're not leaning forward. You want to keep your base straight, keep your weight above your hips, keep your back straight. Knees bent so that you have a good base and your power sits in the floor. So again, the punch goes out and then it comes right back to position. Now, one of the other exercises, and this is a great all body exercise, is either the push up or the plank exercise. So I'm going to go down to the floor right now and go over a few variations of that. The plank can be done in a, in a lot of different ways. You can be on your forearms here, 
And as you do that, you can also be on your knees, okay? If this hurts your back at all, stay on your knees as you start. Now again, the time is up to you. You can hold this as long as you'd like. Another variation of a plank is to simply get into a push-up position with your hands a little bit wider than chest shoulder width and hold that. Now notice how I'm keeping my back straight. I'm not getting it hunched up. I want to be able to keep it straight so that I'm lifting my chest, my shoulders, my upper body, and I'm also lifting my hips and thighs off of the floor. Now the other variations are with your legs straight to be in a plank position, knees off the floor, or the other position again with the elbows down like this. Now there are many variations of plank as well, but these are, these are a couple of the most, most common ones. Okay, the next exercise that we're going to take it to then is the exercise, the mountain climber. Okay, now, the mountain climber again, you can do it slowly or you can do it faster. Do it one leg at a time to start with. And here's how it looks. You're up on your hands, one knee is forward, one knee is back. From here, you're simply switching. We usually do this on a four count, so it would be one, two, three, one, okay? So the mountain climber exercise is the, is the, the fourth motion that we're gonna be talking about. And then finally, we're gonna be back on the floor and doing something for the core, for the abdomen. This is the also the furnace that fuels everything. Making the stomach stronger, makes the back stronger, makes all the muscles work better. So from here, I'm gonna go back to the floor again. We're gonna do a sitting flutter kick, okay? Now this motion, you first want to find your balance. You can do that with your hands to your sides, or you can do that laying back on your forearms. This is a balance affair, so you got to find out what works best for you. Now, ideally, you want to do this with your legs straight. You can do it with one leg to start. If you're doing it with one leg, here you are, up and down. If you're doing it with two legs, you find your balance, and it's one, two, three, one, and so on, okay? Again, the numbers are up to you. A good idea is to go ahead and, and try to get maybe five or 10 four counters of the sitting flutter kick, 10 to 15 seconds of some of these other exercises. I'm gonna do 10 push-ups. I'll hold the plank for a while for you. Mountain climbers, five to 10. And just for starters, and especially if you haven't exercised for a while, try it slowly. Don't do a whole lot of it. Don't do it real fast to start with, but you'd be surprised. The secret is to stick with it. So if you go ahead and stick with the program, you can get some great results in a short time. So let's go ahead and get started now. I'm gonna go ahead and move quickly, and we're gonna get this thing done for you. So here we are at a faster pace, starting off first with sprinting. Good, and again, as you're listening to this now, I'm gonna to talk to you, but I also want you to hear the breathing and again we can pump it now notice I'm using my arms they're coming forward sort of like a train because this tightens the abdomen more tightens the shoulders and the chest the way that I want to have them so breathing I'm breathing deep from the stomach so I'll stop talking for just a minute as you watch me run good now from here I'm gonna put my left leg forward now I showed you stationary punching and this is good but now remember as we continue to work on this, we're going to work on out and back, out and back. Then we'll start moving our feet, moving our feet. The jab is a distance seeking technique. So when we move our front foot in, it increases the speed and the power of the technique. We're also creating openings. So we're shadow boxing, fanning with our head, our shoulders, and getting, we can work on one, two, one, two, three, Breathing all the time, breathing from the belly. Switching our feet, same thing. Making sure we're hands up, knees bent, feet moving, and breathing. And again, you can do this for 10, 15 seconds on a side. You don't have to go overboard as you get started, but just doing something. Now, to the floor. So I'll do the push-up for you. Notice I'm going from one exercise to the other without any rest. Here we go, one, and I'm gonna do 10.
and then right from there I'm staying in a mountain climber position so I'm going to take and do 10 four counters of these as well Okay, and then sitting, flipping over into my seated flutter kick. So let's do 10 of these four counters. Okay, so there is just a real quick workout. Now that's one time through. Okay, and notice, not a lot of break in there, and breathing, breathing well, breathing deep. So again, you can take this exercise, add some others, do as many times through as you'd like. So again, as you start building your strength, as you start building your stamina, it's amazing what you'll be able to do. Here's a couple other thoughts for you. Once again, my name is Fred Nicholas, you can find more videos, more information about me at my YouTube channel. Also, just Google me. Here's one more thing. I have a free gift for you. It's at my website, CombatEnduranceTraining.com. So go to the website, register for your free five-step cardio core blast workout. So good luck to you. You can definitely do this. I hope you use some of these ideas to get yourself in great shape after 40. Once again, make sure you go to the website CombatEnduranceTraining.com and register for your free 5-step cardio core blast workout. Good luck. We'll see you again.